This is Revival in Reformation Television. Keep watching. Get set for global news with Kingdom Perspective. And your host is Benga Ushinaike. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on from, um, where you're li- listening to us from. My name is Benga Ushinaike, and I'm happy to be here again on your favorite program, Global News Kingdom Perspective. With me, as always, Bishop Abraham Olalaye. Bishop, good to have you again on this um, wonderful program. Thank you, sir. You're looking so great this day. Yeah, <laughs> just like you too. We, we thank God for his yeah. mercies. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm sure you are keeping up with the trends globally. As usual, uh, we, are, we have to. Mm. Last Saturday, the, the, the world woke up to, uh, to the news of um, an attempted uh, suicide. I mean, uh, an attempt to kill uh, a presidential candidate of a Republican Party in the U.S. And everybody was shocked that um, a man could be campaigning and some other person would be planning to kill him. I'm sure you read that story, Bishop. Obviously, uh, it, it uh, reverberated everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What came to your mind seeing that story? Yeah, you know, I mean, there is always an history, mm-hmm. you know, when uh, mm-hmm. such things happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, what uh, challenged everybody, and especially historians, mm-hmm. is the fact that uh, such attempt could be made after John F. Kennedy's murder. In Texas, then in the yeah, that should be 1963, there about if I remember correctly, and from that time, you know, uh, the security structure have been uh, uh, upped up, you know, so that uh, it will not be very easy for somebody to take a serving president down. He was a serving president yeah, at that time, yeah. okay, but we know this is a campaign, but you know the structure, you know, gives covering to every presidential candidate. Donald Trump has been a one-time, a I mean, a one-time president. president of the USA, and he wants to contest again and campaign. And also to know that uh, the young man who attempted the murder uh, uh, was a, a from the Republican Party, you know. And uh, he calls for concern that uh, the security service or the secret service must uh, up their game yeah, and uh, yeah. must be professional, must be proactive uh, to avert such things happening, mm-hmm. you know, in campaigns because uh, that's a very negative signal mm-hmm. in, in, within the political sphere of, of the Americans, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, so, you know, people are asking, uh, what could have them? You know how the, the boy, the young man that that uh, shot at uh, Clinton, I mean Trump. How I mean, how could he have uh, been able to do that? You know, in in a time. That, I mean, just talked about um, the U.S. being so careful about security. It's uh, security. You know, people are wondering how could he have um, been able to. You know, get to that point of even wanting to shoot. Of course, everybody has the right to carry a gun in the U.S. Mm. Perhaps, yeah. You see, that is one of the challenges with, uh, mm. for me, I mean, as a person, if you ask me, um, the, the Republican ca- ca- the party, called the, popularly called the GOP, mm. the Grand Old Party, mm. you know, uh, you know, they have their political ideologies and philosophy. Mm. And uh, the, 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 it's the nature, mm. you know, like the culture of the Americans mm. to own a gun, you know. Mm. But what the Democrats and every way many Americans have been fighting for mm. is gun control. control. We yeah. are not saying... Mm. Somebody has no right to carry his gun. But what we are saying is, you need to control. Before you say gun to anybody, whether it's a normal rifle or mm. pump action or whatever, or magazine, mm. you have to do a background check, check. of the, the person's uh, sanity. Mm. And even probably his history. Yes, and uh, do a, a, a proper check mm. so that 
You don't, it's, it, it's just like you go to United Kingdom and you see displayed in every um, pub, mm. you know, at, uh, you know, the departmental stores, you know, the, the supermarkets, mm. that it is illegal to sell tobacco or any such related uh, thing yeah. to anybody that is under 18, 18 years, mm. you know, because it's regarded as a minor. Mm. So in the, in the same vein, Americans ought to listen to the voice of the people. Mm. People are being gone down every yeah. now yeah. and Indiscriminate then. Shooting. Indiscriminate shooting. shooting. Yeah. Yeah. In every part of America. So, and I'm saying, must we wait for this type of thing to happen to a prominent figure, a mm. public figure, like a presidential candidate, mm. before they will now do something, especially now that it's happening to a candidate of the GOP. And a member of the party is the one that even... Uh, yes, exactly. That so isn't that a yeah. signal to them that, hey guys, why are you shying away from doing the needful? Yeah. You know, you have the NRA in America, the National Rifle Association, yeah. most of whom are GOP members. Yeah. And you know they have their caucus and also fund their candidates. Yeah. Nobody is contesting that. We know it's part of their culture. But what I say, gun control. Sure. Mm. When, uh, the go yeah, when gun is controlled, then the sale of guns mm. will come down. Yeah. But that must be the responsibility of society. Yeah. And the NRA to say, okay, listen, we, we care about the security and the safety of our citizens. Mm. So I'm, I'm just asking myself, if Donald Trump wins the election, mm. what will he do about gun control? Mm. And that's very crucial. Very, very crucial. So I'm, I'm now saying what comes around usually goes around. Yeah, and um, the security men can be too careful in a situation where everybody can carry his gun. Yes. You know, there's no way you can... You know, you can Is that... Uh, this, this was a campaign rally. Mm. So I mean, if, if, you are, if, if you are if they are uh, coming into vetting. you know into a hall a mm. town hall mm. then you can say okay you subject everybody to a security check, checks yeah. before they enter mm. but these are no open, open ground uh, open ground so and they can be anywhere uh, they can be anywhere the young man was very far away exactly from, exactly now, so that's that's for me now, the clue for us is, here is that um, the, it was a it, I mean that was it was a divine I mean God protected Trump some people are saying that. The escape was divine, that God was the one in charge and all that. Some people well, say it is, it's luck. Some people oh, it's say providence. Oh, providence, all kinds of perspective that uh, well, people have died and uh, you know, that God has something to do with it. Do you see God intervening in this? Yeah, uh, that is a very great possibility. Mm -hmm. I mean, God is a kind God, he's a merciful God. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you, know, you know the difference. Mm -hmm. You know, if something could go through the house, somebody that he could bring <laughs> bleeding. Yeah. So, like, you know, when I was reading the detailed report, it was just like a question of just turning your head in the split of seconds. Second, yeah. And, and that was what into, made the, the difference. Mm. That was what made the difference. So, I mean, if somebody calls it divine intervention, intervention I, will, I will not dispute it. I will not argue it. Mm. So, <laughs> it, it, I, I'm, I'm sure, I mean, like I, like, Donald Trump himself later said, I read on, yeah. on CNN that, ha, this has happened and it, it gives me a challenge to rally Americans together. together. Mm. So if mm. he wins the election, mm. I think uh, we might see a different, different Trump. Trump. I, I'm, just, I'm just hopefully. So. Yeah, hopefully. So that the supremacies... The yeah. KKK, all of those factors, mm. we no longer have dominance. So, yeah, yeah. America is a free society, it's a modern society. Mm. You Could know. it be a way of God also trying to uh, make Trump see some, some things that um, needs to go be through some transition that is necessary? Yeah, that may for God him can, to become God can to be the president that God wants him. God to be. can use anything mm. to accomplish a divine purpose. Mm. Simply put. Now, I saw this article, and I think we can just chew on it a bit. Uh, it's an, on the, a platform called Forward. It says, 
The title is Seeing Trump's Field Assassination as a Sign of God's Favor is a very biblical mistake. They are, they are, they are saying that they escaped from the attempted suicide. Seeing or, it as or a, murder. Right? Yeah, of, uh, of murder, yeah. Sorry, I said suicide. <laughs> as attempted uh, assassination. Seeing it as uh, that, seeing as God's intervention, it's, um, it, it's not. Uh, it's not God's favor, you know. That's what the article is saying. Um, we just said earlier that God must have intervened in the whole thing, you know. You know, how will you react to this? Are we are we disagree with this opinion? Mm. Uh, you know, from my Christian culture, yeah, from my Christian doctrine and understanding, I know that God does such things. Mm you know, intervenes mm. in such situation. Mm. I mean, I mean if you if you if you follow the news, Trump was a gunner. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. He could have died. Yes, he could have died. Mm. Because the thing was aimed at his the shot was aimed at his head. Mm. You know, just one shot will have been okay. So so if they say that it's not biblical, mm. uh, how do we judge that? Mm. You know? Um, it is by the mercies of God that we are not consumed. You yeah, know. Now, let, let me just read okay. one or two things, a paragraph from the article. Okay. What they are saying is that there are evil people in the Bible who also survived uh -huh. uh, attempted um, uh, yes. attempts on their lives. Yes, that's they true. Say, they say there are plenty of instances of evil characters in the Bible who survive and thrive. Mm -hmm. so at least for a while, Ahab, perhaps the most famously evil of the Israelite king, kings, mm -hmm. thanks to his love of idols also won a bunch of wars. Yes. You know, one might think he was blessed except for the fact that when he did finally die, the Bible says his body was licked by dogs and pigs to show God's disfavor. And not only that, mm -hmm. that on the day he died, mm -hmm. he also was shot. Mm -hmm. Not with Gondo, but with an arrow. Yeah. That an arrow was fired at mm -hmm. random. Yeah. And he got to him. And he got to him and hit mm. him. Uh, that says, okay, you take Jacob, who becomes the father of the Jewish people. He's often held up as an ultimate example of God's favor. But he's also a trickster who scams his blind father, Isaac, into giving him his twin brother's inheritance. You, you which sure didn't look like the behavior of God's chosen one. You, you well, know. Apparently, <laughs> it is, since the Bible tells us so. <laughs> you know, because I'm now looking at uh, this mm. news station, mm. yeah. or you know, the, the platform, the, the platform. Forward, you know, forward. everybody have the right to express their opinion, opinion mm. and the interpretation of the Bible mm. to things like this, and, and that's interesting anyway mm. that they brought the Bible dimension yeah. to it. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> uh, to call. Jacob, a trickster, mm. is not even complimentary to Jacob. Mm. If you understand the exegesis of all that happened yeah. in the life of Jacob, yeah. but I know that is not the mm. this is not the platform mm. to do to uh, do that right subject, now. But but, but, but but what I know is that, like rightly, they rightly said. Mm. I mean, wicked people have escaped. Mm. If people wicked people also escape mm. such, yeah. it is still the mercy of God. Because God does not so, want the sinner exactly, to die, but to come to repentance. I think that's the point. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, his sir. name falls on the wicked. And, the and the, So the people yeah. think that, oh, yeah. when that yeah. wicked person dies, that, oh, yeah, let's yeah, praise yeah, God for that. No, yeah, God, has God doesn't see like that. Mm. He, he has no pleasure in the death of a sinner. Mm. He wants all to, 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 to turn to God, to come to repentance, mm. to come to the knowledge of the truth. So, so ultimately, we, we, we see the Trump escape uh, from being killed as God's, uh, God's aunt, really. Mm. Yeah. Mm. God's own way of telling Trump that, look, I still i am giving you a second chance to... I, honestly, I will, I, will, I will subscribe mm. to that absolutely. Mm. I think Trump, in his heart of heart, should be saying, thank God. God is giving me a second chance to... Yes. Amen. I, I think wins, God I is make, telling make, me, yeah. to, yeah. if I win, to do differently. Differently. You see him coming, I mean, people are supporting him now. Everybody's warming up to him. Even his um, diehard uh, uh, critics are coming back to say, well, we are with you. <laughs> this, you know, do you, do you see him really one thing I've come to, the day? In my yeah. little, in my little understanding of God, mm. God allows certain things to happen for certain purposes. Mm. 
and you cannot determine what God can do or mm. might do or whom God might want to use for a particular thing. Mm. But this is a balance. God can use Trump to fulfill his purpose, yeah. even unknown to Trump. Mm. God can use Biden, Biden yeah. you know. So there is nobody that God cannot use. We don't have a God who says, oh, who has become the president of that country? How come you, you voted for that person? Yes, yeah. oh, oh, this person you have voted for is a very difficult person. We can't use him. Mm. He, he cannot, you know, understand. Mm. God will use anybody. Mm. Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. The kingdom is the Lord. And he rules in the, in the nations. Of men, yeah. He rules in the affairs of men. Yeah. So the Bible says in Psalm 22, he said the kingdom belongs to the Lord and is the governor or the ruler among the nations. And when you go to Revelation 1, 5, what do you see? He said Jesus the, uh, uh, the, 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 is the ruler over all the kings of the earth. Yeah. Even when the rulers of the earth are behaving differently as if they are opposed to mm. God, mm. can they, do they really have control of themselves? Mm. God will have his way when he wants to. Even especially with the so-called wicked people that we mm, talk about. Yeah, yeah. God can use anybody. God, mm. What does it take God to make a man walk into the desert mm. or into the woods mm. and feed like Nebuchadnezzar and feed like animals mm. and graze on the grass? Mm. God can do anything. He has the power to do anything. Mm. So we should fear him. We should honor him. We should respect him. So what, what um, just to cap up on okay. this, what best Christian response you, uh, we have to, pump, to trump now? You know, because you, you know, some pastors will be tempted to, to not start giving prophecies and say Trump will win, Trump will win. If I end up doing the same way, you know, that becomes another thing. Another thing you, know? you see? What should be the best Christian approach? At the end of the day, to the whole drama, yeah. at the end of the day, it's still people who go and vote. Yeah. And God is not going to tamper with the vote. <laughs> He's not going to tamper with the votes on the divine. people. Angels God, God. will not come and vote. Yeah, but sometimes God can. Um, I mean, if God's will, if God wants to have His way, He can. He can do something about it. Like what will He do? Touch the heart of people to change their hearts. That's and, not impossible. Yeah. That's not impossible. Mm. God can always have His way. Mm. Yeah. In the affairs of okay. men. Yes. Exactly. For a purpose. purpose. Mm. Maybe just one assignment. Mm. But ultimately, we can't predict him. We can't predict him. We can't say this is what God will do. No, you can't be too sure. You can't be too what sure. What he will do. Mm. God is not incapacitated. Mm. God does not have a situation where this person that is elected as the president is difficult for me to control. To control. He will not do my will. When God wants to have his way, he will, he will have to do it. So what you're Whatever saying is happens. Pastors should be silent about... They should be silent. About who wins. They should be silent. They should stop this crazy it's not prophecy. The temptation they the should last... stop the crazy prophecy and, yeah. and, and, and prediction. Yes, yeah. One American preacher there was saying, Angels from Africa. <laughs> Angels from Africa. Come and vote for Trump. And I wonder why they didn't come. Oh, but I'm going to... So we don't enter into the same mess. No, that no, we no, no. We don't. We don't. We uh, don't. Four years ago, in uh, the exactly, US, exactly. Yeah, many of the prophets were that bad. What about head. what about yeah. Nigeria? Where election is coming, people are they prophesying. prophesying. Their their antenna and their gift of prophecy comes up mm -hmm. only when there is election. election, and when there is no election, they are not hearing from God. Mm. Eh? One of them said, if a particular candidate wins the election, mm. he will stop being a Christian. Mm. And I say he's never been a Christian before. Mm. Also, wow, let's, let's go it, it, it is well. We, we thank God. We give glory to God for the life of Trump and uh, at least he escaped being killed. And um, we hope that um, this is a lesson for him and uh, God is going to use him for his purpose. Uh, God willing. You know, God willing. Uh, that's this other story I want us to talk okay. about. Um, I'm ready. Mm, uh, that one trended last week and I think it's still trending somehow on. Uh, Popular preacher, uh, Dr. Abel Damina. Wow. I'm sure you read it. Well, when, depending on which one. Uh, well, they <laughs> said all kinds of things. I hope it's not the punch <laughs> one, the punch controversy. Yeah, yeah. of course. That, that's what I want to bring up. Mm -hmm. And I said, um, he, he actually preached and said that uh, not only Christians will go to heaven. Well, I wish I heard the message uh, uh, myself. Yeah, I, I wish know, I, I had actually preached. That was the president. Okay, okay. Not okay. only Christians. Okay. Let me, maybe, maybe I should summarize it for you. Okay. He said not only Christians will go to heaven, that those who believe in Jesus... They can be in the mosque, they can be in shrine, they can be anywhere. As long as they believe in Jesus, as long as they believe that he died, 
they put their faith in him. They don't have to leave their wherever wherever they are as, as long as they have that belief that they will go to heaven. And um, and Punch picked the story and reinterpreted it for him to say, not only believers in Jesus will go to heaven. And he reacted as And I think that's the, that, that's the implication, yeah, honestly. I mean, that's the implication. Mm -hmm. And he reacted and said, no, that they were trying to black men, blah, blah, blah. That he didn't say that. He only said that not only Christians. Now, are believers in Jesus different from Christians? <laughs> Maybe we'll start from there. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, I, I think uh, if we do mm -hmm. scriptural exegesis mm -hmm. and try to explain things, mm -hmm. It's not enough to believe in Jesus to go to heaven. Mm. It's not enough to believe. Mm. Even mm. demons believe, like James mm. says, and they tremble. That's another dimension. Yeah. That's another so believing in God does not mean... Believing in Jesus. Uh, and in Jesus does mm. not mean that you now follow Jesus. Mm. I'm, I'm getting some... Yes. Some depth from that. After all, I believe a lot of people. Even the devil believes. Of in course, Jesus. and he trembles. Mm. He can't deny that. Mm. He is the king of the angels. He probably believed he died too. Oh, of, course, of, course, of course, of course, of course, mm. of course, mm. of course, of mm. course. So when you say uh, he believes, I believe Jesus is a good man. Mm. I believe he's a he's a good he's a prophet. Mm. I believe he's divine. Mm. I believe. So what mm. has that belief translated to? to. Have you now acknowledged him hmm. as your savior, hmm. as your redeemer, hmm. as your deliverer? Hmm. Many years ago, that would be 1999, I was privileged to sit under the teaching of Dr. T.L. Osborne. Hmm. And uh, that's many years, you know, after he went to be with the Lord hmm. at the age of 88. Wow. And he was ministering to me, teaching me. He said, uh, Abraham, mm. can you be that? So many people in different parts of the world, mm. especially religious people, mm. they believe in Jesus mm. Christ, but they don't follow him. Mm. They are not doing his will. They are not doing his will. They are not accepting him as Savior and Lord. Mm. But they believe he was God's son. They believe he was a true prophet. Now, if you say, Brad Wenger, mm. that it's not everybody that is that not all, not only Christians. Christians will go to heaven. In fact, the word Christian is even probably deeper than believing in Jesus. If, be, be, because, if yes, interpretation exactly, now, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But what is of interest <laughs> to me is that if somebody believes in the death mm. of Christ, mm. his burial, yeah. his resurrection, yeah. and his ascension, mm. then he's a Christian. Now, if he doesn't go further, if he doesn't um, live the life, if he doesn't um, no, obey. No, for you to, to believe yeah. that he mm. died, yeah. he was buried, mm. he rose, yeah. and he ascended, yeah. you have crossed the line of whether here or there. Mm. So at that point... Well, it's not possible to have to believe and accept that he, he did all that and yet... Not those, have the life those, of Christ no, in you. those who believe mm. passively. Mm. Are, we need to interpret yes, what belief. Those who believe passively are those just like demons believe God. Yeah. And they tremble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They believe and they tremble. They probably believe all the things that you talked about. No, 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 no. They, they won't they, believe all. Mm. Uh, the implication is that for you to believe mm. be, now, okay now. Now, when, when we talk about antinomianism, mm. universalism, yeah. uh, Buddhism, yeah. Hinduism, yeah. Shintoism, Confucianism, mm. and all kinds of ideologies, time, you will find yeah. out that many of them believe Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, to but they have issues with exactly. So, for instance. That is where we say, okay, we mm. believe him to be a true prophet of God. Mm. Everybody believes that. Uh -huh. Every religion uh -huh. believes that. Yeah. So, but did he die on the cross? Mm. A religion, a popular religion said, when Jesus was on the cross mm. and was going through the agony, the father could not take it. Take it, mm. So he had to re replace, him, replace with him with an angel. <laughs> so, so for somebody to not just believe mm. that he, he was God's prophet, yeah. but that he, he, died. That he died. was the one that died, died. Yeah. Mm. the one that was buried, mm. the one that rose mm. and ascended, mm. then that person is a Christian. Mm. He, he, the person does not need to go further. No. Uh, 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 if if you understand yeah. what I'm saying now, now if you have to that cross thing, that threshold, yeah, okay, that yeah. means 
you are ready to follow that person. You are ex that's what that's I'm saying. Point you you okay. can't, thank you very mm, much, yeah. you can't believe in his debt, mm. which has spiritual symbolism. It's an uh, consequence, yeah. It's an consequence. And believe that he was buried, mm. and believe that he rose, mm. which is for our justification. Yes. Sir. Okay, he died for our sins. Mm. He buried, he was buried yeah. in order that the nature of sin may be buried. Mm. And he rose for our justification mm. and now ascended. Mm. What is the tenet of faith? Mm. <laughs> if not that. So for you to believe all the way, yeah. covering those four vital points mm. of Jesus' life. Mm. Okay. In fact, it does not start at his death. It begins at his suffering. So you must believe his suffering, which is a passion. Mm. Then his death. The, the, then, then the burial, mm. then the resurrection, and the ascension. Mm. So, when you cross those thresholds, you cannot but be a Christian. Mm. Because there is no way you can still remain in another religion mm. believing those vital things. Because those are the areas of discrepancies mm. with other religious thoughts so and opinions. obviously, you can't remain uh, in your coven and say, you believe and not pull out and not pull out. You know, but he's saying that you can be doesn't. You don't have to change your. You no, I don't. I don't think that is scriptural. That is not scriptural. Maybe he was caught up in the excitement of. The I don't know. Of the, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. You know, because I mean, in the depths of his heart, he won't be. And and you know, in fairness I, to the guy, he, 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 in fairness to him, he has a good sense of exegesis. Yeah, of the scriptures. Yeah, of, of, of the scriptures. Yes, yeah. It's just that when you overstretch Stretch, yeah, something, some truth, yeah. and when now you are beginning to put something in people's mind mm. that now begins to question mm. the claim of who Jesus yes. is. Mm. Mm. It's like indirectly saying that Jesus is not the only way by which we can go to God. Oh, How yeah. can I be practicing idolatry? Mm. I am practicing it. Mm. But as and I, I believe, believe in this and, and I will go to heaven. And, and I, I believe in this four major things. Yeah. I mean that that's that to me on scripture. Actually that, that statement really caused a lot of uh, furrow. It has to. The, it has the, to. In the everybody was wondering. It has to. Uh, okay, I, okay. For, for you know, for instance, mm. when I listened to him saying that that, that one, I watched it, yeah. that Jesus did not ascend, mm. that the angels had said to them, ye men of Galilee, why do you stare? Mm. He said those angels didn't know what they were saying. <laughs> now, and I, and I had him you in another teaching. To talk yes, about I had him in another teaching where he said, yeah. you have to believe in the death, death resurrection, burial, and the, resurrection, and, the, and, and ascension. ascension. So, so, indirectly, you have uh, agreed that he ascended. You contradicted yourself. Uh -huh. And this is what the Bible says. All the way from the book of Psalm 110, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make you enemy of fools too. He seated at the right hand of God. But why, why, will you, why do you think he will be getting himself involved in all these uh, controversies? And, uh, just I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Because he you says know. some things that are very correct. Of really. course, yeah. yeah. He, so I must, I must give it to him mm. on that, yeah. Mm. But when he now he, says other his things... His argument that, about the Christian thing was that... Um, that uh, it was unbelievers who gave us the name Christians, that the name was given uh, by people in Antioch, and because of that, you know. So what should we have been called? You know, well, Even I mean, in what it, was, it was, 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 was meant to be derogatory, uh, is that not the power of God? I mean, is the cross not a folly to them that are perishing, mm. but to us who have been saved, mm. the power of God? God. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, they said it derogatorily. Mm. Okay. Ah, like Christ. Christ, of course, they are like that's Christ. a that's wonderful that's name, a good badge. I mean, a good badge. You know, that's yes, so one should be proud to carry. Yes, anyway, I'm a Christian, and I'm not ashamed mm. of it. Mm. You can, you can make me feel like I'm a whatever. Mm. That's your cup of tea. So but I want like to be like Christ, Christ, a follower of Christ, Christ, and I'm not ashamed of me. that. Mm. I confess him publicly. Mm -hmm. He said, anybody that confess me in this, you know, generation, I will confess him before my father. And anyone that denies me, I will deny him before my father and his holy angel. I will say, I didn't know you before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, interesting. Mm -hmm. Just the final one. Some people say final that, one. Yeah, but people say that, why, I mean, are we, why are we saying that only Christians will go to heaven? Are we so sure? Are we, are we the gatekeepers of heaven? Are we the... I like that question. <laughs> now, uh, that, that's a very good question for me. And I've, God knows how many times I've answered that. Mm. Hear this. Mm. God loved the world so much. Mm. He doesn't want anybody to perish. Yeah. 
Mm. So what did he do to match his word with action? Mm. Or his love with action? Sure, yeah. He gave his only begotten son. Mm. That whosoever believes in mm. him may not perish but have everlasting life. Mm. Okay, I manufacture a car. Mm. And they said there are the terrains, they are so rough. Mm. And when you get into the bumps, it could hit your head, you know, and uh, lead to death and, and fatal injuries. Mm. Therefore, they devise the seat beds. Mm. In England now and some other part of the world, it's not only those at the front seat that is yeah. made to wear the seat yeah. belt. Yeah. Even at the back, mm. you, you call Uber, you will say, please put on your oh, seat belt, yeah. even at the back. There was a um, uh, 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 um, uh, 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 turbulent uh, situation for a flight recently, one of the ones going to Asia. Mm. And uh, it was so turbulent that, you know, a few people died, maybe mm. one or two people, wow. two or three people, wow. and many sustained serious injuries mm. because wow. they enter into a bumpy, way, uh, you know, skies. Mm. And those who are not with Pushing their seat heads. belt, wow. they were taken off from their See, to knock their, their head, head the you know, bleeding the from the brain and all kind of thing. fatal injuries. Wow. So God said, I don't want the world to perish. Mm. I have the capacity to save the whole world. So, but the way it's going to happen is that I'm going to give my son mm. that whosoever believes in him may not perish but have everlasting life. But God now said, look, this good news of my son mm. must go to the whole world. If anybody is going to perish, let him not perish because they did, didn't get to hear yeah. the message. Mm -hmm. So in Matthew 24, Jesus says, and the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world mm -hmm. as a, a witness. A witness yeah. Then shall the end come, brother. Because some people will not even get to hear it eventually. Would it be their no, friends? they will hear it. They will hear some it. Some have died that never had. Uh, 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 well, <laughs> so I can tell you that mm -hmm. a lot have heard about it. Mm -hmm. A lot, a whole lot mm. of people have heard about it. Mm. But what they did with what they had was it's what I didn't know. It's another thing. Mm. And to also think that every religion believes in Jesus. Interestingly, they know they are said most that religions. Most religions. Yeah. They, they acknowledge that he, he came, but it's a prophet. But exactly like a, a good man. A good man. But Jesus is more than a good man. But, but he is uh, he is God. Yeah. He is Christ. He came and said, "I am the way." I am the way. Mm. In fact, there are seven I am's of mm. Christ. I am the way. Mm. I am the door. Mm. I am the water of life. Mm. I am the truth. I am the, I'm the truth. Yeah, the I am uh, 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 nobody. Yeah, nobody. Yeah. Yes, and it's a, a, an exclusive mm. position. Mm. Wow, what a day! We thank God for yet another time. And um, are you a Christian? Maybe. Great question. <laughs> Uh, are, we'll, you a follower of are you Christ? a follower of Christ? Mm. Uh, well, we'll, Big question. We'll, we'll draw the curtain on that note. Yes. And that should sink uh, for everybody. God bless you. Thank you, sure. Ragwenga. God bless you. Yeah. A final word for everybody? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to be a Christian. Mm. You have to come to God. You have to embrace God's mercy. Mm. You have to embrace God's love. God couldn't do, do more than he had done. He gave his son to the world. And remember, Ragwinga, like many of our viewers will say, you know, Christianity has been here for 2,000 years mm. and more than 2,000 years. Mm. So God says, this is the way I want to save you. Mm. This is the escape route. When you're there in the airplane, you, you know, the air hostess will explain to you what to do in the case of any emergency landing mm. and everything. Everybody has the right to, the responsibility to obey those instructions. Yes, yeah. That's what the manufacturer is of asking, that, yeah. of that uh, 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 you, you know, yes, uh, aircraft says. Mm. That's what they say. You have to obey the manufacturer of your life, product, yeah. of your life, that this is what he said. He said, I've, I've made it possible for you to be saved. So I encourage mm. people to come to the Lord Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you. Till we meet again. Yes. This is Revival in Reformation Television. Keep watching.